This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting, proudly sponsored by Empire Fighters Draw and joined by Asim Rockman Jr. today at the press conference. It's a little bit different to normal press conferences. Obviously, the bossy press conference, you got misfits. How do you find the similarities and differences in that? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all one and the same. You know, we're going to fight on Saturday, talking to each other. So it's just a little bit more back and forth here because, you know, people got a point to prove or feel like they got a point to prove. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's funny because it just all comes to light on Saturday night, man, and that's that's it. That's the biggest similarity. No matter what we say here, no matter what happens here, on Saturday night we're gonna see who the truth. Certainly, I guess that is in crossover boxing and then professional boxing. But do you enjoy this side of the sport more? I guess it's more a lot more talking, a lot more promoting in the side of the sport. Yeah, I mean, like a lot of these guys are influencers, influencer of boxing, so. These guys are used to being on the stage and talking, 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 but come Saturday, you got to back that up. Certainly. Now, let's talk about your opponent, Greg Hardy, former UFC fighter. I think he fought in the NHL as well. Were you kind of disappointed about kind of not being the main event and having your opponent taken away from you because of COVID? No, nah, I mean, I'm, I'm not disappointed. It, it is what it is. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just blessed and, and grateful for the opportunity to fight in front of the world. I don't know what's going on over here. And what do you make of Shannon? What do you make of Shannon Cannon Briggs turning up and making some noise? That's what he's supposed to do. Hey, get him right here. Hey, get him right here in the gray, in the gray sweater. I have no idea what's going. No, what's going on there? Hey, grab him right there. Hey, grab him right there. Yeah, in the hoodie. Get him. He good now, he good, he good. My fault. <laughs> no, I'm making what's what going on there? Nah, I mean I think it's an altercation. Sneak up on the Dino Ox. Can't let nobody sneak up on the ox, man. Oh, okay. I gotta have my ox back. <laughs> and uh, what does this kinda end for you? I know you're kinda in professional boxing. Do you let it stick in misfit so kinda work you up the tears? How's this all gonna work? Yeah man, take it as far as it can go, you know. Uh my 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 ultimate goal is a world title. So if we could bring a world championship fight to misfits, that would be amazing. Anyone in mind who holds the world title right now in your division? Oscar Rivas. Oscar Rivas, Bridgeway, uh, WBC Bridgeway World Champion. So that's that's the goal to get a, get the Oscar Rivas fight. We'll see if like, an Oscar Rivas fight can happen. I'll talk to Mams, I'll ask him about that in the interview later. But I'll see you tomorrow at the weigh in and then for Saturday night. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely, absolutely. We'll see, we see you tomorrow on Saturday. But Oscar Rivas, that's definitely the goal, inshallah. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.